The first time I met Neil Gaiman, I drove from Nashville, Tennessee to Louisville, Kentucky because I figured that was the closest that Englishman was ever going to get to the Deep South. They herded us into a book line and I got to the front and handed him the first item I had brought. Standard issue number one Sandman comic book. He doodled all over it with a silver marker and I'm standing there thinking I need to say something clever like do you think the artist really appreciates you doing that? But I didn't. I just handed him the second item, a, a sketch done by my ex fiance of Terry Moore's Catch You and Francine from Strangers in Paradise, but done as Neil Gaiman's Death and Delirium from Sandman. He was obviously impressed with the artwork and kept saying, you really want me to sign this? And I said, yes, I want, wanted to someday meet Terry Moore, and then the cycle would be complete. And then I handed him the third item. He looked at me and looked at it and looked at me again. I told him I'd been reading his blog and the week before, he had been saying that he had a touch of laryngitis and sore throat. It was a book tour for American Gods. So I thought cough drops might help. Brilliant, he said. And then he gestured to one of the women behind him, a handler of some sort. I was about to send her out for some of these. Brilliant. Thank you. And after that, I have no idea how I got home. No clue, because the point of this story is that Neil Gaiman called me brilliant.